guys, it's Nikki and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you're new. And in today's video, as you can tell by the title, we are going to be doing a review on the Kylie Cosmetics line revamp. Kylie Cosmetics recently dropped her revamped line of Kylie, which includes everything, but in a better formula. I think they're now like cruelty free and da 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 da, vegan, whatever. I mean, I think they were always uh, cruelty free. I think they're just vegan now and all of the things. So, um, yeah, I ordered a few things and I wanted to share them with you guys. So if you guys are interested in my opinion and the review of Kylie Cosmetics' revamp, then please keep watching. And I got makeup wipes on deck because you already know. This is what I got from Kylie. I didn't get like too much. I got two of her lip kits. I got the shade Autumn, which is a matte one, because I thought it was a really pretty shade. I'm really wondering how this is gonna look on me. I also got Mary Jo K, because ever since this shade came out um, years ago, I was always so interested, and um, now I really wanna try it. So that's it for the lips. And then I also got one of her high glosses, which I feel like they're so cute. This one is actually in the shade So Cute. And then I also got the single um, matte lipstick of Dolce K, which is one of her original shades that I really like. It's a nice like brownish nude and I don't know. Oh my gosh, guys, this is the new packaging. This is so cute. And it's matte on top. It's very slick. I think this is cuter than the other packaging in my opinion. And lastly, to try, I got two of the new Kyliner shades. So the first one is green matte and then the second one is nude matte i wanted to try some cool shades so let's get into it so first i'm gonna go into autumn so this is the lip kit so it comes with the lip liner which is so pretty it's actually similar to like uh, Too faced came out with like newer like eyeliners and they actually kind of look like this, unless I'm tripping. They actually look just like this in the component and everything. Because I have the orange one. Like, it looks just like this to me. Unless I'm 100% tripping. I could be. No, look. They literally look alike. What the heck? This is Too Faced. This is Kylie. I mean, this is an eyeliner. This is a lip liner. But, um, yeah, that's just what I noticed. And then it comes with the lipstick, which this is the new component. It's cute. It's cute. I think it's better than the black. Um, it's cute. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to go ahead and apply it. So. This is such a comfortable lip liner formula. I actually really like this formula. And then let me put it all together so that I won't take it out. Because the packaging, their new packaging is really cute. The pink and everything is cute. But And then I'm going to apply the liquid lipstick in the shade Autumn. So I don't know if you can tell, like those are like legit two different colors. In my opinion, the lip liner was more like nudie pink. And then this is more of like an orangey undertone. But I mean... I do like this shade. I was scared of this shade. I wanted to try something that I don't have. That's literally what I ordered from the line, what I don't have. And I don't have something that's this color and I love it though. Um, it all dries down the same color. At first when applying though, this is deeper than the lip liner, but whatever. I think that this actually looks so good with my makeup right now too. I'm actually really happy that I decided to film it today because this look is just really pretty to me, but I really like it. Um, I feel like there's nothing on my lips. This formula, in my opinion, is very lightweight and I really, really, really like that. Because I feel like before, like her formula could be drying. I had a few shades. I think I had Dolce K before. Um, I also had the purple one. What is it called? The purple one, her original, like deeper purple. And they were drying, but this is not dry. It smells good. It almost smells like vanilla-y to me, I don't know. But it has such, I don't know. I like it though. And I love this shade. Autumn is a beautiful tone. Like, especially with this makeup look, I feel very like monochromatic, like orange. Like this is gorgeous. 
So I'm going to wipe this shade off and then I'm going to prime the lips and then we're going to get into the next shade, which is Mary Jo. I just realized as I took off the lipstick, I didn't swatch it on my hand, but I'll show you guys basically what it looks like, kind of what I saw on my lips. So this is the liner and this is the lipstick. So at first they look like two different shades, in my opinion, two different shades of like that orangey like terracotta. Um, but once it dries down, they do blend in nicely, but um, just thought I'd show you guys. Next, we have Mary Jo K. This is named after her grandma. Yes, I watched Keeping Up with the Kardashians, whatever. I'm gonna swatch it for you guys first. So you can kind of see. It's a really pretty like blue red. Let's put her on. I am anxious. Yeah, I really like this lip liner. Um, I never cared for the lip liners prior. I would just buy like the single lipsticks when she started selling them, but I really like the lip liner. I kind of wish I had ordered True Brown K because I love to do ombre lips and that probably would have been a perfect shade, but I might be ordering it because these lip liners are very creamy and nice. Yeah, this is gorgeous. This is stunning. I love this. I can't believe I finally have this shade on my lips. This is such a pretty shade. It's not drying at all. Um, and it dries down so nicely. Let me do like the little like taste test to see. It honestly didn't transfer that much. I think those are the areas that are still drying. Let me see again. And it didn't leave a thing. This was from what you guys saw before. I just did it again in this area. And this was already here. There's nothing. Like these are really on you. And she's not coming off like. I like this shade. I, I don't think I would do like wear it with this um, eye look, but I love this shade. It's so like there's nothing on my finger. Well, it's like a hint of it. Yeah. And it's just so like, it's it's a nice red. I love the undertone of this red. So I, I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm happy to be surprised. But I'm happy because I'm like, girl, I don't want to be disappointed when I spent my money. Anyways, next, um, I do have just one more single left, which is the Dolce K. Um, I didn't buy the lip liner because I prefer to use darker lip liners with my lipsticks. But I'm going to try the shade out. And if I don't like it without it, which I think I will, if I remember correctly, I like Dolce K as like a nude. But if I don't, I'm going to add like, a lip liner a dark brown lip liner probably mac chestnut to kind of you know wear it how i would and then give you guys a honest review based off of that okay so we're back and now we're gonna get into dolce k so i do love this packaging um i i have to say i love pink <laughs> so i do love this packaging um and i think it's very tiny you know so it's cute i guess Ooh. I just love the shade. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it just right on. Okay, and this one is Dolce K. It actually just reminded me um, when Kylie Cosmetics first dropped, people were like, oh my God, like there's dupes for Kylie, da 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 da. And I remember I got one of them and it was KVD Vegan Beauty, well, Kat Von D at the time. And it was their lipstick in bow and arrow. And these two are literally the same. Um, I do think I like Kylie's more because I feel like bow and arrow um, dries more pink on me. Whereas this one, I feel like dries more like this. It's literally like a nice nude for me. Like I can wear this with this look if i wanted to you know like i could i could do it i'm not used to it but i do i do like it so 
think I'm gonna keep it on. So I'm gonna just go into Kylie's high gloss and shade so cute. And I think I wanna try and put this over top and see like what happens. So cute. I think I think the packaging of like um, the lip gloss is so much cuter. Yes, you're gonna say, oh my god, it's the same. But I think because it's smaller, it looks better. I don't know. I think it just looks so much better in this small packaging, but the packaging on all of their new things is not bad. I'm gonna swatch so cute. I think so cute is like a, yeah, like a light nudie pink. Mm. So I'm gonna put that on. Mm. It has a nice pigment to it, but you could also sheer it out if you want, which I do like about it. I like this one. I like it a lot and this will definitely probably this could potentially be something that I carry around every day. I'm a sucker for a gloss, especially if you watch my channel. You know I love to top my lips with a gloss. So I love like a nice nude pink and nice like light nude brown because I always do ombre lips. So this is definitely perfect for that. I'm loving how my hair is looking today. Anyways, so sorry. Last but not least, what I got, I wanted to get something a little bit of like from everything. So lastly, I got these Kyliners. So... One of them is in green, one of them is in white. So I don't even know how these look. I wonder, are they pink? Oh, wow. These look just alike. Like, are you? And they have a green one, I'm telling you. They look just alike. Anyways, whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it right underneath. This one is green. That's a pretty like olive green tone. I like that. This one is just like a nude. It's always nice to have a nice nude liner. Always nice to have a nice nude liner if you want to open up the eyes. I'm going to actually go in with this one. This is just called 008 Matte Nude. I'm going to go in on the outer corners of my waterline and see how this eyeliner performs. So there's the difference. This one is with the liner, this one's without. This is very pigmented, very soft in the eyes. I don't feel like I'm applying anything. Um, and I like this shade of beige because it's just very, it opens the eyes and it's what I look for in a liner. It's very pretty, it's creamy. A lot of different shades to choose from. Oh my God, I wish that I had gotten this package earlier because I would have definitely worn this liner because I really like it. <laughs> the shade and everything. This is really pretty. Let's go ahead and get into my final thoughts on the Kylie revamp of Kylie Cosmetics. So I think it's a good thing, you know, um, to kind of, I think it's always a good thing to kind of go back and kind of be like, okay, how can I improve? I definitely think that the Whoever's dog is barking is disrespectful. No. But I definitely think that the lip products are an improvement. I have to say, like, I'm not that excited about it just because I feel like maybe, maybe it's because Kylie's just been in the makeup game for a little bit and I'm not like, oh my God, like, this is new stuff that I have to have because, like, I had it before. Um, you know, I have the bronzers and I was excited to see that she came out with a new formula, but um, I wanna finish mine first. I think now though, because I do like the packaging of everything and I do like that her brand is clean now or cleaner than it was before. And um, I like the repackaging of everything. I think I want to order the new bronzer because when this one runs out, I'm gonna have to. Like this is my all time favorite bronzer. I think I'm gonna do a comparison video because I really wanna see what could be so different about this version versus the newer. But it's I feel like it's more telling with like lip products like I can tell you like her old stuff used to be kind of drying sometimes um and I didn't like her lip liners prior I literally um it was a waste of money but I literally like at the, at the time I don't think she sold single lipsticks and so I bought the lip kit and then I would just toss the liner which is very wasteful I wouldn't do that now um but I have to say I love I absolutely love the lip liner. The lip liners are so creamy. Everything that you would really want in a lip liner. So even if you're not into liquid lipsticks, get the single liner. It's so good. It's worth the penny 
I don't even know how much things retail for right now. I will um, link it or put it down below, like prices and everything by each product that I tried out. But let me just go in order of what I tried today. So I first tried out the matte lip kits and I'm going to have to give these a win. Um, I love these shades a lot. Um, I really, really love this autumn shade. It's a nice just everyday like almost like terracotta y and like it was just so pretty and it went so good with this hold on i should put that shade back on i'll be right back because it was too pretty to not put it back on i love the shade and i feel like i put it on and i look just so light and happy and i look like i'm happy <sighs> anyways um, I yeah, I have to give this a hundred percent win. I love this, and I also do love the Mary Jo lip kit just because I feel like she really nailed. I think this one is supposed to be like a bluish red, like a blue red lip, and I think she really like hit that with this one because I really I don't like pinky reds on me. I really like reds that are like this. So I'm so happy to have this, especially in matte. Um, lip form especially you know with wearing masks and everything i love to wear matte lipsticks um or matte liquid lipsticks that stay on and i have to say i, I do i love these these are definitely wins for me um and next i'm gonna go into the high gloss so i love the packaging of this right but i have to say it looks just like the colourpop lux glosses to me and i love colourpop's lux glosses um it's something that i could totally use and forget that I even have this one um because I literally have the shade electric from Colourpop which I love and I use every single day um and they're literally like the same thing essentially Colourpop's wand is thicker um than Kylie's and a little bit longer I think but like I don't know like I could live without this I'm happy that I have it because I have it I'm going to use it and I do love the shade so cute because I did get that original shade when she came out with it too I do love the shade so cute don't get me wrong but these are literally just like a little bit more expensive version of Colourpop's in my opinion Dolce K I love this one it definitely I feel like this is actually a dupe for the KVD Vegan Beauty because the single is cheaper. But I think at the time when I tried it, like the KVD, it was technically a dupe because she was only selling lip kits. But I love this one. I love the undertones. I think it's a good nude for uh, my skin tone so I can just wear it and I don't look like my lips are ashy or, you know, I look crazy. I just look like, okay, she has a nice cute nude lipstick and I like that. Um, so I'm definitely going to use this. I have to say the formulas are not drying. I mean, I absolutely love this shade Autumn on me. Like, I am living for the way I look right now. Like, I'm giving you fall autumn vibes. Like, hello. The liquid lipstick is a win. And the gloss wasn't necessarily, like, a lose. Um, I don't want to say it was a win because I feel like I already have it in the ColourPop gloss. I don't know. Am I hating? No. I'm being honest. I don't know. And lastly, the Kylie Highliners. I love this formula. Um, I do feel like the packaging really resembles the Too Faced Killer Liners for some reason. Um, but needless to say, this is a really good formula. If you were on the market for a new eyeliner that was really creamy, I don't know how long lasting it is, but they do have a few different shades. You know, this is their new product. I will go for it. It's nice. Um, it was so creamy and it was very pleasant to apply. It wasn't like it was tugging or anything. Um, and it was super pigmented too. I didn't go in multiple times. Like I just kind of just had it on and I was like, okay. It's pretty. I like it. Um, I do like the shades that they came out with too. I got the matte ones. I don't really care for metallic liners. Eh. But um, I like these. Like for example... I have the Too Faced one, so am I going to go and get like an orange from Kylie if she has one? No. Um, I prefer the Too Faced ones, but I will definitely be using these, especially that cream, the nude shade, because it's such a pretty waterline color, though. Um, I have to say, I'm excited for Kylie to come back with cosmetics. Like I said, they make my favorite blushes. Like, this is the best shade. I'm sorry, not blush, bronzer. This is the best bronzer shade I've ever used. 
um, in my opinion. It's just the perfect shade. So I think, and this is Tawny Mommy, I think they really nailed it with that. I'm just scared to try the new formula because I'm like, what if I don't like it as much as the old one? And I'm never gonna get, get the old one again. So like, what am I gonna do? I have to find something else. But all that to say, I think that the lip kits are worth it. I think they're what, $29, $30 for both. That's not bad at all for a liner and a lipstick, like the exact shades, if that's what you want. Like a lip liner and a lipstick shade, that's the same. I'm very impressed with her eyeliners though. Although I feel like they look just like Too Faced, Too Faced ones, but um, I could be 100% tripping, but um, yeah. So let me know what you guys think down below. I'm obsessed with this lip color autumn like i i can't stop looking at it i love it such a beautiful shade i'm really happy i kind of took that risk and was like all right we're gonna try something new nikki and here i am loving it so i hope you guys enjoyed my review that those were just my honest thoughts and opinions um and i hope you guys enjoy so don't forget to like this video comment down below and subscribe to my channel for more because more is coming i think i really do you want to do a comparison video with the bronzers so stay tuned and subscribe and turn on your notification bell for that when it comes and i will see you guys in my next one thank you so much for watching bye